Mom, I didn't expect you to be here. You and Charles hadn't even ordered when we left. I wasn't hungry. Well, I suppose I was, should have waited till tomorrow to pack my things, but I figured why waste time? You certainly didn't waste any time going public with your new affair. Going public? You and John holding hands in Barry's for all the world to see, gossip about. Mom! Why don't you just pack your things and get out of here? I'm sure that John is dying for you to move into the loft with him. Times do I have to tell you, John and I are not having an affair. That's a lie! You're jumping to crazy conclusions about this. I should have just kept my mouth shut about the whole thing and let it just have blown over. Oh, yes, then John would have gotten bored with you and moved on to somebody else. He's not bored with you, Mom. <sighs> oh, what were you, just some fling he had to have while I was away in Washington? I already told you nothing went on while you were in Washington. He's not even interested in me. I'm his employee, nothing more. Does he, does he always hold hands with his secretaries in public, gazing lovingly into their eyes? We weren't doing that. We were having a friendly dinner. And if you could have put your foolish pride aside for one minute, you could have saved yourself a lot of embarrassment tonight. I don't recall being embarrassed. I'm sure everybody in Barry's knew why you were fawning all over Charles. I wasn't fawning over anybody. Oh, Mom, you were trying to make John jealous by Oh, being... now who's jumping to conclusions? Great. Don't speak to me. Kick me out of the house. Instead of being adult and rational about this. If you came to me for sympathy, spare the tears, darling. I'm the wrong person. I did not try to steal John from you. I couldn't control my feelings for him. It just happened. I did not mean to hurt you. It's a little late to be concerned about my feelings now. Mom, please. Will you please try to believe me? I want to put all this hurt and anger aside. Of course you do. That way you and John won't have to feel guilty about me. No, it's because I love you. And I don't want to lose you. I quit my job. John and I decided that we should keep distance between us. Will you please go talk to him? I just really want you to understand. I have said everything I'm going to say to John, and I'm really sorry that you quit your job. I think the two of you deserve each other. As for me, my life is going to be terribly busy from now on, and I wouldn't have had time for John anyway. I wish you happiness. This is my scarf. I know. What are you doing with it? I've been looking for it for months. It's one of my favorites. It doesn't really matter. I want to know why you have this. Okay, I took it with me to Europe. Without asking me. Mom, you were in prison. I really didn't think you'd mind. So you just went through my closet and took whatever you wanted, hmm? You talked me into going to Europe when I didn't want to leave you alone. I thought maybe if I took that scarf with me, it might help to make things a little better. I might feel close to you. I thought maybe that scarf might make everything okay. I know, pretty ridiculous, isn't it? It worked for a little while anyway. Mom, we got through that ordeal. Don't you think we can get through this? You betrayed me. How can I forgive you for that? You're so hurt right now, you can't. But if you would just believe what I am trying to tell you. I guess I'll finish packing and get a room at the Vernon Inn. <clears throat> Take the scarf. I don't want it.
recited to my grandmother was all about? Tall tale? Yeah, all that nonsense about the Cherokee Indians and the Texas tradition. Texas tradition is not nonsense. You know, back in El Paso, we take that stuff very seriously. What? So you weren't making it all up? What do you think? I don't... I... Were you? Yeah, of course I was. <laughs> think your grandmother bought it? No, but it gave us a night alone together. Well, that's what I was aiming at. Is your granddaddy a... a gambler or a salesman or something? Yeah, the Buchanan side, maybe he was. Aha, uh -huh, that must be where Asa got his imagination, too. You know, you sounded just like him. Look, if you're gonna insult me like this, I'll just take you back to old Liz. No, it's just that one of the Buchanan family's most endearing qualities is charm. Unfortunately, Asa doesn't always use his charm for the most <clears throat> charming reason. You, however, always do. Hmm. Hmm. I can't believe you snowed my grandmother like that. Well, hey, if I can keep that up, maybe we'll have a few more nights like this to ourselves. You keep that up, you're gonna win over the hearts of my entire family. Yeah, well, yours is the only heart that I'm really concerned about right now. Well, you won that a long time ago. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. <laughs> I'm driving here, all right? Why don't you just tell me where you're taking me? Oh, no, I can't do that. The uh, Cherokee Indian chiefs, they would have me for lunch if oh, I did that. Oh, come on. That's a big mystery. You'll see. It's not that. <laughs> you and Clint figure out what you're going to wear for the wedding? No, we haven't. Uh, he was so concerned about the details of getting Vicky home from the hospital, I didn't want to bother him with anything else. Does she even know we're engaged? Not yet, but Clint says he's going to tell her. When's Sydney getting home? I don't know. I guess whenever this business crisis is over. You really like her, don't you? <laughs> yeah, why do you sound so surprised? <laughs> I'm, I just, I don't know, I was just really anxious about you two getting along. Kate, come on, she's your best friend. I knew that I would love her. Landview's a very pretty town. Thanks for the book. Well, I figured it might give you a good idea of what the town is like. Whoa, whose estate is this? Oh, Asa Buchanan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Landfair. Asa's son, Clint, and his wife, Victoria, live here. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, she was a lord, and uh, it was their family's home. Victor Lord, her father, founded the town's newspaper, The Banner. And where does he live? Oh, he passed away years ago. What about the, uh, Sanders? Hmm. Well, I don't think their mansion is in here. Mm -mm. Okay, all right. We have the, uh, Buchanans, the Lords, and the Sanders family. Is that the cream of the crop? Yeah, just about. But I don't understand why all this matters to the company. I think Landview is the perfect choice for our expansion. Lee, it's too small. It would be a waste of our time and money. Wh why don't we open an office in Philadelphia? Because we're expanding in Landview. Well, what about that report I gave to you on Washington? Well, it's the most logical place for us to move next. We've got lots of contacts there already. It would be a wonderful opportunity. Cindy, Landview has all the opportunities I'm looking for. We're setting up shop there. I just don't understand why you're so determined about this. I think you don't have to understand it. All you have to do is follow my orders. Pam Buchanan renovated the hotel? Yes, and she added a new wing. Ah, very charming. Yeah, the grand opening is the next major social event on Landview's calendar. What? But you mean everyone who is anyone is going to be there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think there are any accommodations available for us? Well, I'm sure something can be arranged. Great. We are going to stay there while we open up this office in Landview. <laughs> oh, I wish you shared my excitement in this. I'm sorry. I just think you're making a big mistake. But my instincts have been right so far, haven't they? Yes. Well, then trust me. Cindy, what's wrong? Well, it... it's just that I was looking forward to spending some time with Kate. and Suddenly my role in her wedding has turned into a... All business. Oh, well, you, you just take all the time you need. I mean, I'd hate to think that Dinah women would interfere with anything as important as your personal life. Lee, let's get something straight. I give you 10, often 12 hours a day. I am productive and dependable. Yes, and I'd like to keep you that way. 
But you have to stay out of my personal life. It's none of your business. Look, if it affects your work, it's very much my business. Is this worth your job? All right. Then let's get to work. Thank you.